Yo, what up? I'm just uh, going to show off my boot collection here and basically do give you guys a small summary of each shoe and tell you which ones I like best. And yeah, let's get it going. As you can see, these are all my cleats. The back are all indoors and turfs. And then all the ones at the front here are all FG cleats. So I'll go from left to right here. Well, I got two Superfly 3s right here. These ones, I basically have them as collector's item because they're, the Superflies have been stopped and these have never been worn. As you can see, the shape is perfect. They look freaking fresh. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about selling these, so if anyone's really interested, you can let me know while we can talk. Never been worn. I still have all the stuff with it, with the box and everything. So here's a carbon fiber. Well, anyways. I just have those. So here's the ones I actually wear. I don't know. I think the blue might be the better colorway. I don't know. It's close. But anyways, let's quick review. Well, these shoes, you got to really like a snug fit in your shoes. Or else, like if you're used to a leather shoe being like comfortable, like really comfortable. Because these are not, they're okay comfortable. Cause, just because they're always so snug. The uppers, really good. Once you break it in, like, it's still kind of stiff. I wouldn't say these are fully broken in because you have to wear these pretty hard straight. Since I have so many cleats, I always change it up. So, you got to wear these pretty hard continuously. And the fly wire is the best part because it keeps the boot shape. And it makes that snug feel, which is what you want with this boot. Another thing with this boot is the traction honestly kicks ass. So, like, out of all these boots... Maybe other than the the CTR 3Cs have nice traction, so but these are really nice traction. Like these grip really well, and I really like the studs on these. And these things, I don't know if they move really, like they say, but they're really good traction. So yeah, so you just gotta break these in good, and then they're pretty pretty awesome shoes. But unfortunately, Puma's got Nike on the speed market here. These shoes are way more comfortable. The uppers on another level is just so soft. Right out of the box, super soft. They have a really awesome fit. You might you're gonna have to get used to the anatomical fit, but it's so worth it. The lace cover is really awesome. Really nice padding for shooting. Feels really good to shoot with these. Touch is awesome. Studs are great. They're not the longest studs, so you're not gonna get the best traction in the world, but you're not Getting bad traction, they're still really good traction. Carbon fiber makes it stiff in the forefoot. Good shoot for shooting, you know. Flexible too, it's awesome. Out of all these shoes, probably these would recommend because they're very underrated and they're really sick. If you're in the speed boot market. My only really control boot, as they say. But this is a really awesome shoe. Mainly... For me, because the way the sh foot the shoe is shaped, it just fits my foot really nice. It has a really, really nice shape. You can see, like, it just has a really nice shape. And I like the, the Kanga Light Upper is really nice. So, it's a really good shoe. The touch is awesome with these. Well, it doesn't make your touch better, but it feels really good. Carbon fiber. Sickest sole plate out there. Can't lie. Stud pattern is really good. Good traction. Pass pods don't really do anything, but I really like the dampening pods. It won't make a touch better, but it feels nicer when you touch the ball. Like when you're dribbling with this, it just feels really nice and makes nice contact. So, yeah, it's all about the upper on these and the fit. Really awesome shoe. Lasers. This is more of the comfort boot on the Nike market, other than the Legends, which I don't have, so I can't say. But these are really comfortable. The, the synthetic version, the upper is really soft and padded. And shooting with these feels really, really nice. Just because the whole upper, I think, has like a layer of foam in between. So it feels, it's super soft and padded all around the boot. So when you shoot from like with the outside of your foot, it feels really nice. Everything. And there's a chunk of padding in the tongue. Extra cushion, really good. Shot, adaptive shot. Sh uh, sorry. Adaptive shield, 
It ha- it doesn't really do anything, but it just feels nice contact when you shoot. Feels good. The fins, same thing. It just feels nice. It might help a little bit, but nothing too noticeable. This is just all about comfort and the quality of the upper. Same thing with the studs. Just a quality stud pattern, nothing wrong, nothing too fancy. Just works. Well, the Laser 3, the difference is basically the shot, the upper and the shot area. This is a more like crazy shot area. Trying to get that old style like crazy laser. Like, but the, I like I like the Laser 4s much better just because the look how small the upper area is. Like it's this is a good upper, like it's a synthetic leather. So once it's broken in, it's really soft. It feels really nice, but you're basically using this most of the time for passing, shooting, everything. So you know it's rubber, so you're taking touches on rubber, but it's not bad or anything. But it's still good. This I like this because it offers a lot of protection because it's like hard, and it, these feel really nice when you smash the ball. They feel really good. And the fins will rip eventually, so you can see there, no fins, <laughs> fins, but yeah, good shoe. You can get the Elite ones now for really cheap, so if you can find them, you know, check them out. These are the Under Armour Blur Pros, and yeah, these are just my mother cleats, as they say. Basically, when there's a day I don't feel like getting any of my nice shoes really dirty, I just wear these because I got these for free in a giveaway. They're actually, they're not, I was quite surprised. They're not that bad of a shoe. They don't have a really, the shape of the shoe is not that, it's kind of like awkward. But like, it's still, the upper is pretty decent actually. But that's, and the insole is not that great. It's to, it's almost too cushiony. So like, it feels weird. You'd have to, you have to see for yourself. But the studs are good. And I just use these to screw around some days, so. Nope, it just has good, I find the touch pretty good, so they're not bad shoes. If you can find a really good deal on these and you're a fan of Under Armour and you're looking for something different, you can get these. And they have the new, the brand new Blur 2s have some crazy colorways, so you can check them out. They're, if you want to stand out, that's a way. They're like, hurt, they hurt your eyes, that's how bright they are. They're crazy. And these are the Adidas Absolato Turf versions, and these were good. I don't know, I've had really bad experiences with most of my Adidas shoes. Like these, I don't know, you see how these turf shoes, all the studs, sorry about that, all the studs are going straight. I noticed that if I get, if someone challenged me while I was wearing these, my these would actually stick into the turf and I'd actually, it actually hurt my knees a few times, which I didn't like because I didn't want knee damage here. It's bad. And the leather, this shit stretches like crazy after it's like so little. You can see here it's already starting to peel. And the leather is really stretched, and like these would they might. I don't know if I got it, like I got a true to size. I should have got a half size smaller because these stretch like crazy. And I ended up, my feet ended up slipping all the time, so I didn't like it. The shot element, it's not the same as the uh, Addy Power, but it's still sometimes you connect, I still notice some crazy swerve, so that's all right. And the leather is actually not that bad, it's just the durability issues. And this one's even worse, I think. Yeah, this one's ripping a piece of crap and durability on these Adidas shoes lately. I don't know what they're doing. But other than that, they're pretty comfy. You just got to get your sizing right. You should go half size smaller. That's the thing I didn't do. So, and here is my opinion, the best turf shoe on the market. The only ones I could think of maybe better is the Pele ones, but I haven't tried. But I've heard really good things. But uh, these are like one of my favorite shoes just overall. Like if this, if they made this in like an outdoor cleat, I would probably buy it. Because it's freaking comfy as hell. And really awesome. It's full Kanga light. So uh, right there you already have an awesome shoe. Great touch. And like it's just super soft. And it's got the out lacing to the outside of the boot. Which gives you a nice shot area. And get the boot really fit really well. So it's really good. And the suede heel liners, super comfy. Most of Nike's top end shoes have the suede. So these are really comfy, really awesome. Awesome traction, my favorite turf shoe out there. And probably one of my favorite shoes out of all of them. 
These are the Elastico Finales, six shoe, indoors, good traction, pretty good traction. Comfort level is not the greatest, just because the thin sole, I mean, the, the outsole is pretty thin. So if you're playing for a while, like if you're playing for a good couple hours, you're going to feel your feet a little bit. But the upper is super soft. Like once they're broken in, it's just Kanga Light. It's just super malleable. It's so soft. I really love the touch on these. Since the toe box is so small, you really get a good feel for the ball. And that's what futsal is all about. That's the benefit of the shoes is the touch is sick. So that's why I recommend these. And these are the Lunar Gatos. This is their... Nike's other in futsal shoe. This shoe is really good because it's more of a comfort, comfortable shoe. You can see how thick the insole, outsole is. Really comfy, really durable, awesome shoe. Leather is super nice. It just doesn't have the same nice touch as the, the Elasticos. I prefer the Elasticos just to feel on the balls better. Just because you can see this is a more bulkier shoe, and I started like. Because I've from the Superflies, they're the low toe box. Same with the Puma. Same with the, same with all the outdoor shoes. They have low toe boxes. So this one has a pretty high thing because you got this whole thing uh, outsole too. So, but they're really comfy. Six shoes. If you find a good deal, it's probably the better choice, only because they're so much more comfortable and you can wear them way more. So, and here's the last the Nike Five Elastico, just the the lowest drop down. These are good for basically couple months and then they're not so good anymore as you see they're starting to rip here but the outsole is even thinner than the finales like look that's where your freaking arch is it's not very thick and I remember getting pain right here where you're like freaking so yeah they have a good touch they feel good but they're just not the best shoe you should probably go for an upgrade to the pros or the finales just for the comfort and the better durability, and it's just much better. I got those for, like, really cheap. That's the only reason I bought those. So, yeah, and I have separate reviews for all these shoes in other videos. So if you want to get more in-depth, just uh, check them out and subscribe. And peace, guys.